Well, hey folks, research here again. Level 7, this one's a, uh, a U.S. level. Well, they all are from uh, from here on out. The infiltration of Jackson, that's Jackson, Mississippi, uh, played a uh, played a role in the early Vicksburg campaign. I'm going to try something different with the skills here. I'm going to go all damage, no Jackson regen. Jackson was not only the capital of Mississippi, but also a major manufacturing center, supplying the South with much needed materials of war. Two corps from the Union Army under General Sherman and McPherson marched against Jackson, intending to cut off the city and its railroads from Vicksburg. Southern General Joseph Johnston was ordered by the Secretary of War to proceed at once to Mississippi and take command of all forces in the field. The Mississippi capital must not fall into enemy hands. Before an all-out attack commenced, the Union made an unexpected move. A small group of elite soldiers were dispatched to weaken the defenses of the city and create a diversion for the coming onslaught. Edward Hogger, is it? I've heard good things about you. You're a member of Captain Blazer Scouts. I need a man who's an excellent shot and can infiltrate enemy territory. Report to Sergeant McKinley. He'll tell you what to do. And son, don't disappoint. Every one of you boys was chosen by the old man for a critical mission. This city is our target. It's being used as a supply line for the whole area. Don't fool yourselves into thinking this will be easy. The place is swarming with rebs, and it's heavily defended. That said, we're gonna go in, blow up our targets, and get out of there. That guy in the middle there with the sideburns was the guy from the ship in the last level. All right, so here we go. This is an in undercover urban mission. This is the uh, the Battle of Jackson, Jackson, Mississippi, part of the Vicksburg campaign. I'm playing for the Union, so of course I'm starting with one of these horrible Colt rifles. And here we go. And I start with grenades. If you look down in the corner there, you'll notice it's a different grenade. Remember before, it was a Ketchum grenade, the one that looks like a Nerf football. Not this time. This one. Get down! It's a little bit of a stretch to see this in the game. Because these were never actually used in combat. Uh, but they, they were invented. That is a Haynes Excelsior grenade. And it looks like a tiny naval mine. It was a little sphere with a bunch of little nipples all over the outside. And you would, uh, you'd fill the thing with black powder and then you would have to put a percussion cap on the end of every one of those nipples and then throw it. And it wasn't very powerful and they would go off in people's pockets or when they weren't supposed to explode uh, uh, pretty alarmingly regularly. So, uh, so they were not popular. And uh, as far as I know, uh, they were never, ever used in the field, and I'm not surprised at all. But, you know, gotta, gotta mix up the assets a little bit here in the game, and I appreciate the historical relevance of this, because really, that is, that's quite a rare and unusual item. Uh, so, so that's fun. I threw away my Colt rifle, because I hate it. Henry rifle is, is a lot more fun. So we're sneaking around here. Oh, sharps. There's a sharps rifle. Trade it for the pistol here. All right. Look, oh, there's only got one bullet. Where's my pistol? Where's my... God damn it. All right. That's fine. Is there something around? No. Okay. Anyway, Battle of Jackson. Uh, May 14th, 1863. Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, Union Commander uh, Ulysses S. Grant. That was Grant there at the beginning. Oh, here we go. Another little little shooting gallery. Why not? Anyway, U.S. Grant and the Army of the Tennessee, and they were fighting against elements of the Confederate Department of the West, who was commanded by General Joe Johnston. Uh, they had to seize the city, so, uh, cut the supply lines, and that was going to lay the groundwork needed for the, uh, the siege of Vicksburg that came along later. So the way it went down was May 9th, just a couple days before the 
uh, the battle. Uh, Joe Johnston received a dispatch from the Secretary of War, the Confederate Secretary of War, uh, directing him to proceed at once to Mississippi and take chief command of the forces in the field. He arrived in Jackson on May 13 from Middle Tennessee, and he learned that two Army Corps from the Union Army of the Tennessee, uh, the 15th Corps under uh, William T. Sherman, uh, and the uh, 17th Corps under James McPherson were advancing on Jackson and they intended to cut the uh, the railroads off from Vicksburg, which was a major port on the Mississippi River, and that plays a role later in the game and later in the war, of course. Uh, the idea was to cut off the railroad connections to isolate the garrison and kind of starve them out as part of the siege. Uh, and if the Confederate troops in Jackson were defeated, uh, they would have absolutely no way to threaten Grant's flank or or rear during that Vicksburg campaign. So, uh, so the Confederates really believed that they needed to uh, to protect their men more than the city. So Johnson consulted with the local commander and learned that there were only 6,000 troops available to defend the town. 6,000 troops are not going to do much against two corps coming in, uh, even two under strength corps. So Johnson ordered the evacuation of Jackson, but uh, the local commander was to defend Jackson until the evacuation was complete. Uh, by 10 a.m. on that day, both Union Army Corps were near Jackson, and they had engaged. Uh, it was raining. Confederates put up a very strong resistance, uh, and uh, and there were some pretty, pretty just bad conditions all around. Oh, what's this? Oh, I know this guy. That's uh, Abraham LinkedIn. Gets you a job, no problem. Uh, so. The fighting didn't really get going until around 11 a.m. Uh, Union forces attacked in, in pretty large numbers and then pushed the Confederates back. Uh, by mid-afternoon, Johnston uh, informed the local commander that the evacuation was complete and that he should disengage and follow. So, the battle was over. Union troops entered Jackson, had a big old celebration in there, hosted uh, by U.S. Grant, who had been traveling with Sherman's Corps, and... Then they burned the town, or burned part of the town. Uh, they chopped off the railroad connections with Vicksburg. Uh, but with hindsight on our side, we see that this was actually pretty poorly done on the Confederate side. Joe Johnston on the Confederate side, his evacuation of Jackson was very premature because he could have, by May 14th, so the very next day, he could have had 11,000 troops at his disposal, and by the morning of May 15th, so two days later, he could have had another 4,000. So it didn't work out that way. He pulled out, and then uh, Mississippi, uh, the former Mississippi state capital, was lost. And so, of course, that was a, a pretty big blow to Confederate morale. Uh, so that was uh, that laid a pretty critical groundwork for uh, for the siege of Vicksburg. And look what I've got here: double barrel shotgun. Uh, another very fun. <laughs> Uh, reloading animation because I've got my double damage this is an almost decent weapon at range but uh, as you can see it's a very slow reload not very much ammunition so let's go get that box and I'm really feeling the pain of having that low regen whoa Hooray! just throw a few of these around we got plenty of grenades there's a guy hiding off to the left Where'd he go? Jeez. Most of it got caught by that, uh, that barricade and still got him. Goodness gracious sakes. All right. This next part here is a little bit tricky. But, uh, but once you've played it through a couple of times, it's uh, it's really pretty fun. It, it has a bonus objective that's that I find very difficult to get. But uh, but this is this is some fun, fun fast-paced action here. So we're gonna knock out this other uh, battery here. A battery is what you call a collection of cannon lying around. And it's always cannon, not cannons. The plural of cannon is cannon. Uh oh. And then they just start spawning everywhere. Oh, here we go. That's a bad guy. Jeez. Luckily, 
that double damage applies to my melee attack as well. Did you see how far that dude flew? Okay. Let's see how this goes. Oh, jeez. They start spawning hard from over there. Ah, uh, he'll be fine. All right. I have had guys run around this corner and just rifle butt me in the face so many times. This has always been a challenging level for me. Uh-oh. Where'd he come from? Okay, the bonus objective is over there. You can kind of see the glowing red thing, but if you kill all the guys too fast, uh, you can't get the bonus objective. So you're supposed to run over there and set a charge while the fight is still going on. So that's that's a little bit challenging, but, uh, but oh well. Nine minutes. Nine minutes to do that entire level. These are... These are getting short here, uh, but, you know, I, we, we've seen as much creativity as we're going to get out of this game. So I'll see you on the next level. Bye now.